Hello, I thought I'd make a quick vlog, and I just wanted to say that, you know, today was a very happy day, but an interesting day as well. So, I'm gonna, I just started a different vlog, and it was deleted. So, I'm going to start from today and work backwards. So I'm not going to start from the beginning. I'm going to start from today and work backwards. And today was, <clears throat> was a continuation of what they had been doing all week. Well, let me go back. I'll go back to the beginning. I don't want to start from the end. Okay, so we saw someone and this person was talking about the past. And just talking about my marriages and just trying to dig deeper for pain. And I was, I just tried to get out of it. I mean, and why are, are you going to get married again? And, you know, I don't want to get married again. Look, that's because you are married. And those were fake marriages because they trapped you. Oh, okay. So, um, but living in the past and, she had an evil grin. I've seen that evil grin so many times, you know, and, uh, anyway, so the week, like she knew something was coming and there was, so the week continued and, you know, I just continued to pray and all that. And on Thursday, right as soon as work was over, they tried to cause a major nervous breakdown. And, and, uh, I became very shaky, like, well, a major nervous breakdown like they had in the past. And I, be, I felt some of the same feelings. Like I became very, very shaky. I was shaking and, I, uh, I, I had the nervousness in my body, but not in my mind. So I tried to, I, and I felt it trying to get through to my mind, but I, I prayed to Jesus and I told Jesus I trusted him and I said, Jesus, well, I'm not going to say what I said because I'm not allowed, but I trusted, I just prayed to Jesus and I, I told him I trusted him and I trusted Jesus and I was shaky for a little while, and then it wore off. But I also, I also discovered that uh, the woman who took my life away, and, and I'm sorry, the woman who I had mentioned her a long time ago, and the woman who did so much to get my life, I mean, take, cause a major nervous breakdown and, uh, cause a divorce and all that and take my life and all that, not my life, but the lifestyle I was living and cursing me into poverty. She, uh, she now is, she I guess she strips every once in a while, and she does. And we, everyone knows we are not going to, she's not gossiping, okay? I'm not gossiping, but she tried to give it to me. She's trying to make me, she's trying to give me her life again. You know, it didn't work the first time because we're not the same person. But uh, she's trying to give me her life again which is all sexual and very, very ill. No, I'm a priest. I'm saying this. And we, it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. Marissa will never, ever be a stripper. And Marissa will never be a prostitute. She will not be an alcoholic. And she's not going to live on the streets <sighs> or a drug addict or a drug addict. She will never be any of those things. Okay, so <clears throat> I survived that 
Well, the whole day, it was, you know, because the entire city of Cleveland just sets me up. Well, the evil people in Cleveland set me up. And it's the whole day is, of the whole week was just the past, the past, the past. And remember the past and just keep remembering the past. And, uh, and so then I survived that. And yesterday, I don't even, it was a great day yesterday. I felt really good and I was happy. And then today they really tried again. I mean, the whole day was like, remember the past and remember the past and the past and the past and the past. And, the past. and then I finally got over it and then it came back. And then I finally got over it and it came back because they keep it going through magic and spells and curses. Okay, so I feel much better now because I gave this day to Jesus. I said, Jesus, please take this day. And if it be, I humbly ask that you please take this day. And uh, if through your grace and if it be your will. And then I just kept saying, I have faith. I have faith. I have faith. <clears throat> yeah, sorry about the mess. Anyway, so I just kept saying, I have faith, I have faith, I have faith. And I got through the day. And I don't know what tonight brings because last night was a very restless night. That was because the woman who wants to give you her life just did so many evil things to you. Yes, and gross things. Yes, Marissa didn't do anything gross. This woman did things to her. Yes. <clears throat> so, and I was told that the world already knows that the world needs to be purged of evil people because they won't stop. Yes, that's true. Everyone knows that the world has to be purged of them. Yes. So, <clears throat> that's the evil. But Jesus is great. And I love Jesus so much. And I trust him so much. I trust him and trust him and trust him. So, now, on to different things subjects. I have been not spending money on clothes, but I really, I, I'm dressed under this. See? Okay. I've not been spending money on clothes, but I have been spending money on eating out. Lots of food eating out. And I can't continue to do that because it gets expensive. You know? So yesterday... It was, tr yesterday was a treat, uh, and I really enjoyed the food, and so I'm not going to complain about yesterday, but I'll tell you what I ordered, and uh, where I went. Uh, first of all, we, my mother and I went to La Plaza, and we looked around, and, you know, it's a little grocery store. And it has a restaurant in it. And it's a Mexican grocery store with a Mexican top limited menu Mexican restaurant. Okay. A limited menu Mexican restaurant in the front. Okay. So, <clears throat> so uh, we looked around and... Then we went to the little bakery section. They have a little bakery section, and they also sell tamales there in that section. So we went to the bakery section, and we picked out some uh, some pastries and a, a variety of pastries. And then we went to the restaurant, and I ordered a chile relleno for my sister and two tor 
See, they're messing up your accent. Two tortas al pastor. Okay, two tortas al pastor. And um, and a side of refried beans and a side of rice. And this was to take to my sister. My, to my sister's house so that we could all share and so but before we left I bought some queso fresco so I bought queso fresco and I and and uh and we all my mother and I left and we went to my sister's house and then she had the chile relleno with um I'm sorry, I don't want to say um all the time. She had the ch chile relleno with rice and beans. And I and she put uh, crema on it because I was able to, they have a uh, a little um a little sauce bar. So they have crema and uh, a creamy sauce and red sauce and green sauce and pico de gallo. And then they have onions and chopped up, chopped up onions and chopped up cilantro there that you can pick from. And you can pick all of them or one of them for your food. And they're small containers and you can take them home with you. If you eat there... You can put them on your food while you're there as much as you want. No, I'm saying it. I'm one of your men. So I picked all, I picked the ones I picked and I took them to my sister's house and she chose just the crema. And I had the pico de gallo and, oh, and it also had uh, some, it also had some guacamole type sauce. Yes, it's it's like guacamole, but it's not really. It's like it. And I had some of that on my torta. And my mother had, well, then my sister had some green salsa in her cabinet because the rest of the, all of the stuff, all of the other things I chose, including the pico de gallo and the guacamole type sauce, were spicy. A little too spicy for her. So she used her own salsa. And it was, it was a green salsa. And... She had that and the crema on the chile relleno and the, and the rice and beans. And my mother had the green salsa and one of the guacamole type salsas. One of them. And it was, she doesn't eat, she can't handle things that are too spicy. So she, I just put it on the side of her plate. And she just, you know, well, she put it on the side of her plate and she just dipped her food in it. So after we ate, we, I put out all of the pastries and we all took small pieces of all of the pastries and, uh, and tried the assortment and, it was delicious. I highly recommend La Plaza. All of it was delicious. All of it was delicious. And that's not the first time I've been there for their food. It's all delicious. It's very good. And I recommend La Plaza. If you're ever in Cleveland, no People will be in Cleveland, and yes, we highly recommend La Plaza if you're interested in authentic Mexican groceries, okay, and food. Yes, 
Remember, it's limited menu. It is a limited menu, so you're not going to find everything there. It's just a small menu with tortas and a few other things. Okay. All right, so that was... Uh, that was yesterday, that was yesterday, Friday, and it was a great day. I really enjoyed the food. I really enjoyed it. And today I, I bought sandwiches again at 7-Eleven. I have to stop buying food out because I usually, before I started working, I ate at home. My mother and I pretty much only ate at home. And now I'm buying food all the time because I have a little extra money. So I'm going to have to stop. I'm going to have to stop. But it's good. I know. The food is very good. Yes, Mom. The food is very good. Yes. Anyway, there's my double gulp cup. I saved a few of them because I like a lot of pop in my cups. And that is that is a cup that I use when I'm at home. And sometimes I take it with me. But it's usually at home and I... I can't tell you what I do with it because I'm I'm blocked. My men tell me I'm not allowed to tell you how I enhance the flavor of the pop. So, uh, but it's delicious. It's delicious. It's usually just Diet Dr. Pepper or Diet Cola from Save a Lot. Okay, so... And then I just wanted to say, are they making numbers up? Or I mean, is it really true that people are, that the people, more people are dying from the pandemic now? And yes, it's, it's true. The numbers aren't made up. I don't even know what to say about that except I will keep praying. Mm -hmm. This is such a terrible thing. And if you lost, if, if you're ill right now or you lost someone to the illness, then I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. And we all do pray for you. All of us. Including Marissa. We pray for you. <clears throat> Alright. And on that note, I'm going to end this vlog. And I'm going to say I hope everybody watching has a great day tomorrow and things go your way. Alright. Bye.